The Federated States of Micronesia is a country that is simultaneously one of the smallest and largest countries in the world. The island nation covers several small islands across a vast ocean territory that is sandwiched between global superpowers in the Pacific, with Japan in the north, Indonesia and Australia to the south, and the United States, because of Hawaii, to the east. Although, if you count Guam and the Northern Mariana Islands, the U.S. is also to the north. So how does this island country compete among these Pacific superpowers? And how does a culture surrounded by these cultural superpowers compete to maintain a unique Micronesian identity? Join me as we travel virtually across the world as we learn more about the Federated States of Micronesia. Micronesia's ancestors entered the islands about 4,000 years ago and established an early system of decentralized tribes among the islands. Eventually, after some key chieftains expanded, annexed, and conquered other islands, including the medieval city of Mad Madal, the island of Yap would become the cultural center of the Carolan Islands that make up most of the country today. Portuguese explorers explored the islands, go figure, in the 16th century before the Spanish colonized the islands in the 17th century, but waited until the 1800s to establish any permanent posts among the islands. After the Spanish-American War, ownership of the islands passed from Spain to Germany before the Japanese captured the territory during the First World War. During the Second World War, the United States captured the islands and used them as military outposts during the first half of the Cold War before granting the islands independence in the 1970s and making it one of the countries included in the Compact of Free Association, which we covered in the Palau episode. Like with Palau and the Marshall Islands, the Federated States of Micronesia depends on the United States for national defense, and the United States is a major source of international trade. Domestically, the country is divided into four states with a national unicameral legislature that elects the president and vice president of the country. Micronesia still deals with Spain occasionally claiming control of some of the islands of the country, but any attempt to back up their claim basically comes with the United States reminding Spain about what happened the last time the Spanish tried to claim authority over an island under U.S. military protection. The Federated States of Micronesia consists of over 600 islands, with few boasting any major population. It's no surprise then that nature tourism is a major source of revenue for the country's economy. Access to reaching the islands is difficult to say the least, though, so tourism in the country is nowhere near as profitable as it could be. But the United States has invested over a billion dollars in the country's infrastructure to help progress the country's attempts at making the islands more accessible to international tourism. Micronesia as a region consists of several different ethnic groups who all speak some Micronesian language. In the Federated States of Micronesia, the largest ethnic groups are the Chukis at about 49%, Pompeian at about 24%, Kosrayan at about 6%, and Yapis at about 5%. There is, however, a sizable minority across the country with mixed heritage that includes Japanese ancestry as the result of the brief Japanese administration of the islands. The most commonly spoken languages in the country are Micronesian languages including Khosrayan, Chukis, Pohnpeian, and Mortlakis. Religious demographics are a bit harder to calculate because each island is different, but most of the more heavily populated islands feature a mostly Christian population, with about 60% of those being Catholic due to Spanish influence and 40% Protestant due to German influence. Buddhism is small but visible on the island of Pohnpei, and um, Adia Islam is visible on the island of Kosre. Pre-colonial Micronesia became well-known among archaeologists for Yapi's currency. 
Basically, islanders on Yap would create giant stone disks that marked ownership of a piece of land. And when someone brought the land from the owner, the owner would roll their stone disk to their new home. The size of the stone disks was also dependent on the size of the land, with the smallest being about a foot in diameter. So it was less of money and more like a land deed, but the disks are often today referred to as Yappies Stone Money. A popular form of traditional music across the country is the stick dance, in which people make music by hitting the ground with what looks like walking sticks made from wood. The musicians slap the discs to the ground while men, women, and children dance to the rhythm created by the music. Dancing in the country is very political, though, as most dances divide people based on a national caste system. In terms of sports, football is popular across the country, largely due to the influence of FIFA over the world. Outside of soccer, baseball is popular in the country due to U.S. influence. The Federated States of Micronesia is one of those countries that has a lot of potential for international tourism, but doesn't live up to that potential. That might be a good thing, though, as international tourism is one of the leading causes of environmental destruction and is quickly becoming a new agent for colonialism. What Micronesia does well is maintain a unique identity among its indigenous peoples in an ocean of economic and cultural superpowers. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more anthropological content. Also, let us know in the comments below which Micronesian culture you would like to learn about next.